now. Sex Pistols, even though they don't class themselves as punk rock, they had a following. There's only like 50 people in London what followed that small inner circle. And once it got... Hello, Uncle Paul! Um, people go, oh, it's all too commercial now. But what's the point of doing something to a small amount of people? You're not going to change nothing. The only way you change things is getting over to more people. So the point is, you've got to basically change how things are to get noticed. So basically, it's not what you look like or what you feel like. If you're doing something that's different, that's how you're going to turn heads. So you can turn more heads by being more individual. Twenty people, keep it. Like that. Ain't gonna change nothing, is it? No. You've got to get to the masses. So basically, you've got to use your wisdom and your your soul to go beyond. Yeah. That is what the Beatles did. That's what Bob yeah. Dylan did. Sell out what you believe in. Compromise with the label and change what you believe in. Change your message. Yeah. So to all up, up and coming artists, they need to be as ruthless and as original Stick to themselves to and write their own stuff and be individual. Stick to what you believe in and try to get it out to as many people. Ladies and gentlemen, stick to what you believe in. Me and Uncle Dean are having a discussion about punk, rock and roll, individualities and life, the Beatles. And it is basically it all comes down to stick to what you believe in. Yes. Just because a record label throws a million pounds at it, you, you're still doing what you believe in. You're not, you're not selling out, are you? That's what you do, what they want you to do. You sell out. Stick to what you believe in. Thank you, Uncle Dean.